What's up, YouTube? This is Jay Millionaire here with a review of some kicks that just landed on my porch. And of course, these are the Nike Air Fleet 2s. And I haven't done a review in a long time, but I basically got these and said, hey, I'm doing an actual full review on these because they're so crazy. So let's get into a review. So off top is a huge box, bigger than a regular Nike box or a box in general. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's kind of like that till ocean blue color, really nice looking box. And kind of like that cactus plant flea market kind of writing or font rather. And Nike with an oversized swoosh, just like on the shoe itself, which we'll get into. Um, they they came out with a bunch of releases with Nike, of course, like a Vapor Max and the Dunk and some other stuff and clothing all the time. But this is of course the Air Fleet 2. And uh, I guess more importantly, the correct name or the, the label is Nike Cactus Plant Flea Market Air Fleet 2. And the, was it uh, Faded Spruce and Alabaster Cutaway? Of course, my size 10. And we'll get into that later of why I did that. But all right. All right. And right into it, they have a giant yellow, what is this, like a blanket? I thought it was like a towel at first, like a hand towel. But it is actually uh, a bag. I guess a dust bag. So on this side it has Nike Air Fleet 2, a uh, peace symbol or yin yang symbol, um, and then the Nike with the swoosh and just do it. The swoosh, it's a little uh, wonky and oversized, just like I said, the box and the shoe itself, which is kind of cool. And as you can see, the stitching on it is like embroidered. It's pretty nice. And nothing on the back, but what I did like is the color of the green little eyelets um, that they put my hand on there that they put on uh, the bag, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a terry yellow mustard cloth color. And I think it's a nice touch that they did with that. So let's get into the actual shoes themselves. So in the box, it has um, kind of a thickish, you know, paper box with the Cactus Plant Flea Market Air and Nike all over it. Of course, the paper changes into like a tie-dye color, which is a cool touch, I thought. Um, and then the regular little paper. So take this out here you know, and look at the shoes themselves and voila. Get into a deeper dive, Let's take these out and they are massive, soft top. Um, nothing in the box. So I'm gonna get into this one because I guess it has the bag on it with the little, uh, put your little pins or whatever it's called. So the shoe itself is a giant hard, material and people it looks like it'd be soft kind of like a tire or like a bike tire but it's hard kind of like an actual car tire i mean it does give some kind of bounce like rubber but it's hard it's stiff it's clunky as you can hear it um cool thing about both of these is that they have uh the same foot on the on the, on the bottom but the little like nmd little things you know the adidas nmd things are different colors totally so red yellow gray and brown which is a cool touch Flea tags on the, flea tags, well, I guess so. Pull tags on these are uh, kind of like a navy, purplish, green, a, a red, and a yellow, which is clean. It says flea two, air, air, and flea two. Um, the, let's get into this too. The swoosh on this is, it looked like at first like it glue in the dark or glowed in the dark, um, or it was kind of like a hard material, but it's kind of like a soft kind of, uh, I guess it's a suede or an um, artificial suede. It kind of reminds me of what rag dolls are made of or like a Raggedy Andy or something. The way it's like uh, kind of felt and kind of soft. And of course, the rivets on the back that you can line up on the shoe itself, which is kind of the key, key selling point of this. You can kind of customize it that way. So back to the shoe uh, with the little eyelets on it or I guess little stickers or whatever they're called on Crocs uh, giblets. I don't know. Um, but they came with those, and it's like a yin yang sign, like I said, the, the Nike and a couple, a couple colors. I guess the colors that kind of uh, pop, make these pop, as well as the colors of the shoe, which is cool. And of course, the little flea uh, giblets, I guess you can call it, of course, zero to three kids. Don't eat these, so don't do that. And these have the same buttons as uh, the swoosh, so you can basically plop, pop them anywhere that it has those rivets on the shoe, which is a cool touch. Um, right out the box when you get these, they smell kind of like, um, I wouldn't say soap, but it's kind of like a, a rubber, plastic, neoprene-y, wet suit -y smell. It smells pleasant. It doesn't smell like a harsh glue like Nike's usually, but it does just smell like a, like a I don't know, a artificial smell. You'll smell it when you get them, if you get these. Uh, another nice little touch is the Nike Cactus 
plant flea market tag on there, but of course that's gonna come off when I wear it. And uh, a couple other hints, of course the flea too, and it's kind of like uh, on there, screen printed and kind of rubber material on the neoprene. Uh, like I said, just like the bag, the piece, our yin yang, the Nike, and just do it. Uh, let's see the tag on this is on the inside of this. Of course, I said I want my size 10. We'll get the sizing in the end. All information there. Uh, I guess insoles in these, and you can look, somebody else take them, but I don't feel like doing it. But basically, it's right and left, just like all the cactus ple uh, plant flea market shoes, and it has kind of like the heat signature, and they're both different. Like I said, if you look up another video, they can take them out. I don't really feel like doing that because it's a hassle, but you get the gist. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I've seen pics, and I'm thinking that the feet sole part on this does glow in the dark, but of course, the Nike swoosh does not, unfortunately. Kind of sucks, but it's whatever. I mean, glowing the dark swoosh is kind of like a kid novelty or a Travis Scott thing, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so taking this off right here, of course, you have the two straps. The shoe itself is a booty kind of feel. Where basically, across obviously, there's no laces. It's just a a boot with the tongue, and then basically this kind of like elastic material that holds your foot in place. And then these two straps, and that's pretty much it. Um, on foot, because I did try these on, and I'll get into sizing now, I guess. Uh, go true to size on these. I guess the earlier models, just because it was like I guess samples, or they're fake, or I don't even know why. They're telling you to go like up or down a couple sizes, or something crazy. But yeah, go true to size. I'm a size 10, I got these in size 10 and they fit perfect. If I was to go down a half a size, um, it would be very snug. Um, I wouldn't say they're narrow because it is a neoprene material and it can go stretch out, you know, sideways, but the, you know, crux of the sole itself won't go too much width. So I, in my opinion, just go true to size and you'll be fine. Um, if you want some extra room, go up half a size if you want some extra playroom, but I don't think you should go down a size or two sizes, that'd be insane. Um, but I mean, you, you do you, um, just, just listen to what I'm telling you. Um, as far as another kind of material, it looks the same. It's kind of a neoprene kind of, uh, uh, I don't know. It's like a wax artificial coating, but it seems like another kind of rubber stretching neoprene material. So again, the upper is made of a green, uh, two shades of green material, uh, sweatsuit with the liner and the darker kind of artificial, wet, uh, I guess wet liner, I don't really know what it's made out of, but it's what it looks like and feels like. Pretty clean pair in my opinion, they're super fire. Um, just wear with whatever, like I said, they 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 do seal the show because they are chunky, um, but they are pretty comfortable on once you have them on foot. The, the sole is kind of like, a, I guess like a cushiony, pillowy material. Of course you do feel clunky when you're walking around because they do not bend, but they're semi comfortable. So, I mean, they're not like New Balances or anything, but they're decent. Um, one thing I was going to say earlier, the swooshes, and I've heard this before, and, and when I got them in hand, I can tell you the truth. Um, they do not line up perfectly everywhere on here, but if you do adjust the strap sometimes, it'll fit the way you want. Um, the good thing about these, you can literally just customize them as you see fit. And of course, once you get one on there, I wouldn't really feel, you know, secure without getting at least two popped on there but I mean it's a flimsy felt material it's not necessarily gonna come off really easy oh, never mind <laughs> I guess be careful you know <laughs> I guess experience may vary but if you want to uh, really customize it to your own you can do that which is cool about Cassius plant but yeah um, long story short these are pretty clean I enjoy my pair go true to size and uh, yeah again rate comment subscribe